Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 2005 Sandpiper 32 RL SS. So uh, this trailer weighs 7,800 pounds. It's probably about 34 feet long and it's a rear living room model. Um, it's got some delamination uh, on the exterior and it shows a little bit of signs of leakage on the inside, but other than that, it's uh, mostly very clean and it's also got a newer set of tires on it. So let's take a quick walk around it and we'll see what it's like. Um, I just want to point out in the front, you know, you got some signs of recaulk and the whole front is pretty much uh, kind of wavy. So the fronts are not laminated, so that's normal, but it has seen some leakage. Inside the uh, compartment, it is just nice and solid in there. So the floors are all solid and the front panel is solid. Also nice storage. So inside looks good. Uh, the sidewall looks good. The decals got a, a little bit of fade. And uh, here's the tires. So they are 2010 is when they were replaced. So they're newer sets, so they should be a reliable set of tires. Got a nice grab handle to walk in. These are the stabilizer jacks. And uh, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there's a little bit of waviness here too. On the inside, it does not show up. Just on the outside. I also want to mention, even though this RV shows some signs of leakage, it does show that it's all been recocked, and it also does not smell like mildew inside. Uh, a little bit of puffiness there, and the decals are kind of peeling too. All right, got a little bit of uh, decal peeling up there, and that's all common. It's pretty minor. And then in the front storage here on this side, all nice and solid on the inside. But the front corner does show some signs where they uh, reattached it with screws and it's a little bit puffy there. The frame all looks to be in good shape. There's a uh, electric tongue jack, so that's nice. And also we had the awning out and it looks good. Yeah, this is a 10 gallon hot water heater, so that's nice to have a bigger, the, you know, normally you get a six gallon. Okay, you can see inside it's a real nice spacious rear living room design, two chairs, tons of windows, the, all the roof, uh, sidewalls in here look solid. In the back corner where I was pointing out some waviness outside, it all looks solid. Uh, the one area where I noticed the panel does show maybe an issue. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but right at the bottom here, a little bit of just peeling wallpaper. So just so you know. Okay. I uh, got a nice one-piece countertop and the range and oven. All real clean, uh, very clean in here. The carpet, kitchen, everything looks really nice. There's the refrigerator. Again, very clean, really nice condition. And you get a nice TV and a DVD player here. And in the bathroom, toilet looks clean. You got a nice sink there. And Inside the shower, I don't know if it's picking me up real good, but inside the shower there's uh, a lot of height. Well, I'm 5'11", I'm just at the ceiling, so six foot you probably touch it. But it does look clean in there, no signs of mildew. And in the bedroom, this is the storage, so it all looks solid up under there. And a lot of space, nice queen bed, and then these big shirt closets with like end tables at the bottom. So real nice trailer, whoever wins it's going to love it.